Well, the first mixed use high rise building with four different uses in downtown Indianapolis is now under construction. Keystone Realty Group is renovating a 20 story AT&T building into retail, a garage, residential and office space. Senior Vice President Mike Paterino is here now to talk about this unique project. Mike, welcome to the program. Thank you. Uh, a lot of people will recognize this building, uh, 220 uh, North Meridian Street, one of the two uh, AT&T towers uh, exactly. downtown. Yep. Really, uh, you're going to have a pretty radical redesign here into something very unique. Talk about, first of all, the interest and why this property, why this 20-story tower is so attractive. The, the property for us is attractive because, one, the location. Being a block off a monument uh, circle, it's got uh, great views of the circle where it's located on Meridian Street. Also have great views of Military Park. As you go up to the higher levels mm -hmm. and you look out along Meridian Street, you've got you know, wonderful views. So it's location, the reviews, and also the fact that uh, uh, AT&T only occupies three floors of the building right, right. now, so it's empty. Yeah, so they're going to occupy those floors for, uh, for a few more years. Yes. But in the meantime, this, this redevelopment into a mixed-use um, uh, facility building uh, is pretty dramatic. Talk about uh, your plans and where they are now in terms of the different levels and, and what will be there. So our plans are still preliminary. We just bought the building back in November. But uh, intent is to redesign and reimagine it into a true mixed-use building. And what that means is we would have about uh, three to four restaurants on the first floor, about 18,000 square feet of space. The second, third, and fourth floors will actually be a parking garage, mm -hmm. which, of course, there's no parking in the building right now, which has kind of hampered it over the years. Uh, fifth floor is mechanical, but after that, we got six through 10 office, mm -hmm. and above that, it's, it's all multifamily residential mm -hmm. apartments. So the, the building is really being designed for all those uses, mm -hmm. which is very unique for Indianapolis. Unique for Indianapolis, very popular and common in Chicago and New yes. York and a lot of these urban uh, areas. Uh, talk about the interest that you're seeing right now for this, this, uh, this new concept. We're actually seeing a lot of interest, because one of the things we're doing is reducing, before it was all office, basically, we're reducing this down to about 131,000 square feet of office space, and we'll take it from a class B to a class A space. So with the parking garage going in, we've already had a lot of people reach out to us of interest on the office side. From the residential side, there's just a lot of interest because of the, the building will have a floor to ceiling glass mm -hmm. walls and, and be at 20 stories. You, you don't have anything like that in Indianapolis right now from a residential point of view. Part of the evolution, do you think, of Indianapolis as you look at this connected, walkable cities, how important it is to have that? And there is getting to be that, uh, that uh, critical mass downtown. There's totally critical mass. And when we talk about all that, to be able to live, work, eat in one building, mm -hmm. to have a monument circle so close with all the restaurants, be right on Illinois Street, you're yeah. a half block away with all the restaurants. It's very walkable where it's located. And then you add the park to it. Yep which is just a fantastic amenity. All right, Mike Paterino, Senior VP with Keystone Realty Group. Big plans for the AT&T Tower downtown. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very All much. Right.